I'm Denise Bowden, I'm the Director of GAMA and the CEO of the Yothi Yindi Foundation. Later this afternoon you'll be greeted by our Chairman Gulleroy and the traditional owners. But for now, can I just say to you all, welcome from the Yothi Yindi Foundation. Yothi Yindi Foundation has created this gathering as an important part of progressing our national conversation and it's happening now. And we're very proud of that and we're very proud of the fact that every year, with your help, we make this contribution. All of us, by being here today, show that we care about the future of our country and most importantly, we care about the place of Aboriginal and Islander people in our nation. And so I thank you for making this journey to be here with us today and I thank you for making your commitment to find a better Australia. Please enjoy today's education forum. Take some time to visit the education fair on the Bungle grounds and please enjoy all of that Gama has to offer. Thank you. And uh, you'll now be in the hands of one of our most important leaders, Ms. Yanamu Munanga, Director for the Yothi Yindi Foundation and Senior Japu Woman. Thank you very much. Um, good morning, Bookmark. Namiri Bookmark. Um, I'm Yananmul, as Denise said, Yananmul Monongur. I come from the Jabbu Clan Nation. Um, I'm one of the directors for your DND Foundation. I welcome you also to this year's Garma Festival. Um, the theme of this year's festival is about all about truth telling. Um, today's focus is truth telling around education, hearing voices that are often drowned out in national discourses, hearing about programs which quietly run and achieve important results for young people, but which receive little attention and little support. Karma Festival is all about education. Education is at its very heart, it's in the centre. Karma to the Yulngo is the metaphor for karma is two waters, fresh, fresh water and salt water meeting together and it's sort of like um, mixing when it comes to the two waters mixing and that's how Yulngo people are. We mix together like, like our waters. And also, when it comes to festivals like Karma, it's bringing everybody together so we can all talk about what's best for all of us and for this nation. When you come to Karma, you should bring the expectation that you will also be changed. You should bring a willingness to change. You should bring new ears and ready to hear, new hearts, and ready to feel. Bring your lives and energies and ready to respond. I would now like to um, introduce Tapanbal, a beautiful Gumach lady, um, and Adrian Gayak, no, sorry, Arian Gayak Pearson, Ka Grant Pukarua. Is that right? He's a local Māori person from Nolanboy. Thank you. Hello everyone, thank you for inviting me to the education forum. Um, my name is Stubborn Balina Punga and I'll be singing one of my father's songs called Mainstream. It was the song he wrote when he first started his principal working at the school at Yirkala. So it's a really special song. And what um, my I was saying about the metaphor, about the two waters, the salt water and the fresh water coming in, mixing together, that's what karma is. That's why karma has been um, formed 
for us young people so that we can carry on our culture and our language strong at this um, place called Gurukula. Um, 20 years of Garama. I remember <laughs> I was probably, I don't know, 15 years old with my sisters, my mum, dad, we were camping at the same camp where we're camping now. And 20 years this year had brought so many memories. I'm um, thinking about my dad when I went there, a little bit emotional. Um, my mum, yeah. So this song is called Mainstream. Reflections in the water I see six pretty girls on my mind today. Yellow foam floating down the river, and voices I hear of your more heroes. Go, 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 living in the mainstream. Go, 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 under one tree. Monsoon clouds floating over the ocean. There is thunder and rain. Raging here tonight. Hear the sounds of speakers crying across rivers and valleys on your land. Go, 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 living in the main. Go, 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 under one dream. Go, 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 living in the mainstream. Go, 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 under one dream. Reflection in the water I see now. There is black and white. We're living together, sharing dreams of the red, black, and gold. Living dream time now in the young. Go, 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 living in the mainstream. Go, 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 under one dream. Go, 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 living in the mainstream. Go, 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 go. Living together, we're learning together, we're living together now. Yolmo, Balanda, yo, 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 y
this is Australia. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that um, beautiful song, Lump and Bell, uh, Kayak and Grant. Um, we, talk, we talk a lot about the importance of biodiversity, but as a nation we have been very slow to recognize the importance of cultural diversity. Now the government is beginning to fund language, cultural repatriation and projects at the same time by starving remote schools of funds by insisting that sending children away to the city for education is be very best a parent can do. They are making it very di difficult for the Yulungo people to keep our living language and cultural no knowledge strong in the next generation. When our young people go away, they, they grow away. If they drop out of boarding schools in the city, they often never come back to school again. Government is not empowering our schools to meet the needs of our young people. Everyone talks about closing the gap in education, but not so many people talk about the knowledge gap that mainstream schools bring to education, <coughs> educating our kids. They talk a lot about our kids and less. Always in terms of what they lack, how they're coming from behind, how they can somehow rescue our kids. They never, they don't talk about ha how teachers and schools have no cultural understanding. They don't talk, talk about how we need to train and equip our teachers to know the history of Australia and to understand young first Australian people in the whole context of our lives. They don't acknowledge that ma many of our students experience racism in mainstream schools and choose to walk away from it. We know our own young people, we know they want a positive future. We know that education is the key to that positive future. We want excellence in education. We want choices. We want the resources to build choice for our young people, for our families. It frust frustrates us when we see young ones we know we can build programs for. But we are given no funding to make these programs happen in our communities. This is the truth. It is the truth. We want our children to walk in two worlds. We want our children to experience the best of both that can only happen when the education strikes a balance, two-way balance. Some people say that only Western education can set people up for good life. We disagree. We totally disagree. You have come to Garma to learn about a other way of seeing the world, of living in the world. Let us teach you. We, we Yolngu people have that knowledge to teach you people when you come to Garma. These are some important truths to be told when it comes to education. I would now like to introduce the panel of educators, Yulmo educators, who were the products of Two Ways Education. Women who have help, helped to shape this community, our community, and who are not afraid to speak their truths to the world. One by one, I will introduce them and who they are and where they come from and what they have done. <coughs> First, I'd like to call Banbapui, Kanabar. Banbapui is a Dati woman. Her homeland is Rodawui. She has worked at the school since 1984. One of her passions is working with early year students using Yolngo literacy and Yolngo Mata and Yolngo Maths. Second, um, Yalmai Yunupungo. She is an honorary university fellow with the Office of Pro Vice Chancellor Indigenous Leadership Charles Darwin Uni. 
She is a religious woman from Irkala. She holds a Bachelor of Education, Teaching and Learning with Charles Darwin Uni, as well as a diploma in teaching through Bachelor Institutes of Indigenous Statutory Education. Mirkiaoi, Kanambar Stubbs. Mirkiao is a proud young woman, a leader of Northeast Tanam land. She has written six books. Her most recent ones, Welcome to My Country. She has also been a long-term um, employee of Yirkala School. Welcome, Mirkiaoi. Um, Rariui, Marika. Relating a woman, she's an ex Tupuma College student. She was one of the first Yolong educators to obtain a teaching diploma. She, she is a grandmother, a mother. She is also an artist whose work has been exhibited in collections nationally and in um, internationally, a teacher and an artist. Japri Munigirich. A Gumach lady, she is a Yulmo elder from around here, strong woman with deep, deep commitment to her people. She is currently working as, a, as an indigenous engagement officer. Ms. Munigirich was instrumental in establishing the Yirkala Women's Patrol in the past, which saw Aboriginal elders walk the streets late at night to successfully deal with domestic violence, alcohol, and other community safety issues. Can we welcome the ladies onto the panel? <laughs> Thank you. 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 What a clever way to present. We don't have to talk, no, but we will. Um, just want to say that that is just one part of our school's teaching, just one. We do a lot of things. We plan, we look at both taxes, Yolngumata, as well as English. We plan for the next day before we start teaching. We tell the children to brush their teeth in the morning before we teach. We feed them nice, hot, nutritious food. We have yard duties. We plan, we ring for the excursion for next week. We talk to Dimuro and we talk to Iralka for a workshop that's going to happen next term. We uh, planned and, and do both English, maths, mathematics, English, for reading, for sounds, for phonics, for drama, for everything that any other school does. We do it at Yirkala. But before we start, I would like to ask Bandabu to talk about where did learning on country and where did Kalta and Garma begin. You are a coban papu. Tattooing a daru character to you. My name is Ban Papu, Kanambar. Uh, I am I, my homeland is at Rurui, which is west from here. Um, but first, I would like to. Um, talk about where I grew up. In the 70s, when the land rights case began, I was raised by a religion leader, Mr. Roy Marika, and um, everyone moved back to their homelands. So we moved back to Kolurunga, which is downstairs from here down onwards towards Barker. And we ourselves built the iron houses there to stay. Um, 
And from there we used to go shopping. And in that time, maybe three days or four days, we were lucky enough to go to school and then come back. Um, and then our grandfather, who's the Gumach leader, claimed this area and he had a house. So he said, I would like all my granddaughters and my sons and nieces and daughters to attend. So I attended um, Tupuma College after um, doing bilingual education. But first, I wrote, um, I learned to read and write in my mother tongue, Gumach, before English. So that's where my education starts, my journey starts. But I would like to tell you the heart of Gumach land, which is brain brain. That's where Ganma started. That's where the two waters meet, the fresh and the salt. And in the middle, it mixes into Kalimadip, which is brackish. And that's where the first Kalta workshop started. What we, which what we just seen, um, it's a psychic nut, nut, which is very, very poisonous. And we got all the other clan groups involved. And um, apparently it started because Mr. M. Yunipungo had did a research on bilingual education. And he himself, who is from Brain Brain and owns the land, got the concept from Brain Brain because in your law, you cannot cross boundaries to another place and steal ideas. So that's what he did. He got that concept from his own homeland, Brain Brain, Agomech land. When the rivers, when the water, fresh water from the land runs down, it interacts with the salt. And through that salt, it forms a knowledge above a foam which is balanced. Um, I'm a religious man, religious woman, sorry. I'm a religious woman. Um, my, I did my schooling mostly here. Um, when missionaries first arrived, um, then the welfare took over, and then the um, um, Commonwealth government, and then in the early 70s I left school. So um, I didn't go to a boarding school at all. I mainly went to school at Yukala. You know, uh, I just want to carry on what she, Banbapoi, uh, talked about Garma. Garma, Garma and Galta is a very important name that we use and practice at Yitkala School. Um, we teach our young children there Garma and Galta and learning on country. Because that's where Galta initiated, initiated from. Galta initiated from Yirkala. That's where it came from. And it's a... Uh, uh, we worked closely with elders, elders who have gone and elders who are still now living. 
you, um, uh, we didn't work on our own. And as Gan Papua said about the two waters, um, uh, water from the land, water from the sea, where they come into, come into the middle and how they mix and for become brackish water. You know, it indicates, indicates the people who are coming together and becoming one. That's what water, that's what karma is about. Uh, we now using the term karma, where karma is more openly used by everyone whereas karma is very important, and very sacred word, only for Yiricha people to use. Yeah. Yo, can you? I'll move back, I mean, closer. <laughs> My name is Right Away, Marika. Um, and I'll talk about you know, I'll talk about um, the metaphor we have at the school at the moment, and it's called yakagana. Yakagana, always together, not by yourself, but work together. We work together. One is not above the other. We're all equal. So the metaphor we have is yakagana. And it talks about uh, the canoe, when, um, when people hop in the canoe and they paddle, um, there's that, the first one is the captain, and they're always guiding, telling each, each other where to go, you know. The one's not working by themselves, but together. And that's our metaphor at, at the school. We have many metaphors. And this is, I'm just talking about one. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and I also want to talk like, for all, for all Dua and Yiricha um, people in this region, we have our own metaphors. One don't go to the other. Yiricha don't jump into Tua's metaphor or unless you're, the men only do that in a ceremony. Okay? Uh, before we finish, we would like to thank uh, Denise Gashon Bowden for this oversight and support of the education forum here today on Yolngu land. And thank you, Marie, uh, Mani O'Brien, Greg Byrne, Ga Peter Solly for organizing Gatura. Uh, especially Greg Ni nee for working closely with us uh, to plan this contribution. And let's, let's not forget Dimbro, um, filmmakers, Jalinda Markup, Mirka, Jonathan, Sarah. Markup, thank you. Um, thank, thank you, ladies. Um, <coughs> thank you, Bookmark, Mary um, I'd like to say just a little bit um, before I introduce our other speaker. We know, um, we know that our young people who remain strongly connected the, to their communities, their st spiritual beliefs, their land, culture and kinship relationships are more likely to have good mental health. We know this. They are also more likely to achieve education success. There is a strong connection between health and education. More and mo more evidence is emerging that if our young people's core relationships are weakened, the benefits of education are reduced. This reinforces the importance of meeting young people where they are. We should not just accept when people tell us that sending our Jamarkuli from their land, language and culture identity will be a positive step to them achieving education success. We need to find out the truth about funding. Did you know that the cost between sending a kid to a boarding school is around 70 to 100,000 per year. It seems there is a lot of rupee out there to send a youth elsewhere. 
and there is a tiny fraction of this amount spent on our children who stay at home, and this is not fair for when it comes to education. Karma Book reports that 8 out of 10 young people finish school at year 7 or 8. No one looks at what is happening inside our classrooms and whether the type of education being offered suits our children. Do all, all these ladies sitting beside me have shown us, shown the community what happens when schools engage children with their own language or culture within our own community. There is, there is power there when we teach our Jamarkole in our schools with Yulmo teachers in got Yulmo teachers teaching. Thank you. God, thank you. Thank you, Mary Walal. <laughs> yeah. I take my hat off to these ladies and you should take your hat off as well. Yeah. I now introduce another speaker.